Panther Stinema Gamer is now live. Streaming Dragon Age Inquisition, Dragon Age Inquisition Part 1 Let's Go. You leave me no choice. Everything you've heard, completely true. You leave me no choice. Enjoy the stream first time playing this on stream thinking about making it a series.
also at Marhu 1990. Check out user nom. Tell me why we shouldn't kill you now. The Conclave is destroyed. Everyone who attended is dead. So at Blue Man 2018. Check out user Nam. You think I'm responsible? Explain this. I can't. What do you mean, you can't? I don't know what that is, or how it got there. You're lying! We need her, Cassandra. Whatever you think I did, I'm innocent. Do you remember what happened? How this began? I remember... running. Things were chasing me, and then... a woman? A woman? She reached out to me, but then... Go to the forward camp, Liliana. I will take her to the rift. What did happen? It... will be easier to show you. It's a massive rift into the world of demons that grows larger with each passing hour. It's not the only such rift, just the largest. All were caused by the explosion at the Conclave. An explosion can do that? This one did. Unless we act, the breach may grow until it swallows the world. Each time the breach expands, your mark spreads, and it is killing you. It may be the key to stopping this, but there isn't much time. I understand. Then... I'll do what I can. Whatever it takes. They have decided your guilt. They need it. The people of Haven mourn our most holy, divine Justinia, head of the Chantry. The Conclave was hers. It was a chance for peace between mages and Templars. She brought their leaders together. Now they are dead. We lash out like the sky, but we must think beyond ourselves. As she did. Until the breach is sealed. There will be a trial. I can promise no more. Come. It is not far. Where are you taking me? Your...
must be tested on something smaller than the breach. Open the gate. We are heading into the valley. Pulses are coming faster now. The larger the breach grows, the more rifts appear, the more demons we face. How did I survive the blast? They said you stepped out of a rift, then fell unconscious. They say a woman was in the rift behind you. No one. Over. Drop your weapon. Now! A demon attacked me. What was I supposed to do? You don't need to fight. Are you saying it won't happen again? <sighs> You're right. I cannot protect you. And I cannot expect you to be defenseless. I should remember you agreed to come willingly. Take these potions. Maker knows what we will face. Where are all your soldiers? At the forward camp for fighting. We are on our own for now.
getting close to the rift. You can hear the fighting. Who's fighting? You'll see soon. We must help them. It is yours. I closed that thing. How? Whatever magic opened the breach in the sky also placed that mark upon your hand. I theorized the mark might be able to close the rifts that have opened in the breach's wake. And it seems I was correct. Meaning it could also close the breach itself. Possibly. It seems you hold the key to our salvation. Good to know. Here I thought we'd be ass deep in demons forever. Varric Tethras, rogue, storyteller, and occasionally unwelcome tag along. That's a nice crossbow you have there. Ah, isn't she? Bianca and I have been through a lot together. You named your crossbow Bianca? Of course. And she'll be great company in the valley. Absolutely not. Your help is appreciated, Varric, but... Have you been in the valley lately, Seeker? Your soldiers aren't in control anymore. You need me. Ugh. My name is Solus, if there are to be introductions. I am pleased to see you still live. He means, I kept that mark from killing you while you slept. Then I owe you my thanks. Thank me if we manage to close the breach without killing you in the process. Cassandra, you should know. The magic involved here is unlike any I have seen. Your prisoner is no mage. Indeed, I find it difficult to imagine any mage having such power. Understood. We must get to the forward camp quickly. Well... Bianca's excited. This way, down the bank. The road ahead is blocked. We must move quickly. Demons ahead. Glad you brought me now, Seeker.
person? I don't remember what happened. That'll get you every time. Should have spun a story. That's what you would have done. It's more believable and less prone to result in premature execution. We are clear for the moment. Well done. Whatever that thing... Here they come. You made it. Chancellor Roderick, this is... I know who she is. As Grand Chancellor of the Chantry, I hereby order you to take this criminal to Valroyo to face execution. Order me? You are a glorified clerk, a bureaucrat. And you are a thug, but a thug who supposedly serves the Chantry. We serve the most holy, Chancellor. As you well know. Justinia is dead! We must elect a replacement and obey her orders on the matter. So none of you are actually in charge here? You killed everyone who was in charge! Call a retreat, Seeker. Our position here is hopeless. We can stop this before it's too late. How? You won't survive long enough to reach the temple, even with all your soldiers. We must get to the temple. It's the quickest route. But not the safest. Our forces can charge as a distraction while we go through the mountains. We lost contact with an entire squad on that path. It's too risky. Listen to me. Abandon this now, before more lives are lost.
How do you think we should proceed? I say we charge. I won't survive long enough for your trial. Whatever happens, happens now. Liliana, bring everyone left in the valley. Everyone. On your head be the consequences, Seeker. If we have to get past! Quickly then! As before, you are becoming quite proficient at this. Let's hope it works on the big one. Lady Cassandra, you managed to close the rift. Well done. Do not congratulate me, Commander. This is the prisoner's doing. Is it? I hope they're right about you. We've lost a lot of people getting you here. You're not the only one hoping that. We'll see soon enough, won't we? The way to the temple should be clear. Liliana will try to meet you there. Then we'd best move quickly. Give us time, Commander. Make her watch over you, for all our sakes. Temple of Sacred Ashes. What's left of it? That is where you walked out of the Fade, and our soldiers found you. They say a woman. Have your men take up positions around the temple. This is your chance to end this. Are you ready? I'll try, but I don't know if I can reach that, much less close it. No. This rift was the first, and it is the key. Seal it, 
and perhaps we seal the breach. Then let's find a way down, and be careful. Now is the hour of our victory. Bring forth the sacrifice. What are we hearing? At a guess, the person who created the breach. Your voice, most holy, called out to you, but... What's going on here? Run while you can! Warn them! We have an intruder. Kill her, now! there who attacked and the divine is she was this vision true what are we seeing i don't remember echoes of what happened here the fade bleeds into this place this rift is not sealed but it is closed albeit temporarily i believe that with the mark the rift can be opened and then sealed properly and safely however opening the rift will likely attract attention from the other side that means demons! Stand ready!
I didn't know you were awake. I, I swear. Don't worry about it. I only... I beg your forgiveness and your blessing. I am but a humble servant. You are back in Haven, my lady. They say you saved us. So at Mohu 1990, check out user Nam. It's all anyone has talked about for the last three days. So you're saying they're happy with me? I'm only saying what I heard. I didn't mean anything by it. I'm certain Lady Cassandra would want to know you've wakened. She said, at once. And where is she? In the Chantry, with the Lord Chancellor. At once, she said. Cassandra would like to speak with you. That's her. She stopped the breach from getting any bigger. Chancellor Roderick says that the Chantry has nothing to do with us. That is it, Chancellor Roderick. Be taken to her. Chain her! I want her prepared for travel to the capital for trial. Disregard that and leave us. You walk a dangerous line, Seeker. The breach is stable, but it is still a threat. I will not ignore it. I did everything I could to close the breach. It almost killed me. Yet you live. A convenient result in so far as you're concerned. Have a care, Chancellor. The breach is not the only threat we face. Someone was behind the explosion at the Conclave. Someone most holy did not expect. Perhaps they died with the others, or have allies who yet live. I am a suspect? You, and many others. But not the prisoner. I heard the voices in the temple. The Divine called to her for help. So her survival, that thing on her hand, all a coincidence. Providence. The Maker sent her to us in our darkest hour. Though all before me is shadow, yet shall the Maker be my guide. We lost everything, then out of nowhere you came. The breach remains, and your mark is still our only hope of closing it. This is not for you to decide. You know what this is, Chancellor. A writ from the Divine, granting us the authority to act. As of this moment, I declare the Inquisition reborn. We will close the breach, we will find those responsible, and we will restore order with or without your approval. This is the Divine's directive. Rebuild the Inquisition of old. Find those who will stand against the chaos. We aren't ready. We have no leader. No numbers. And now, no Chantry support. 
But we have no choice. We must act now, with you at our side. If you're truly trying to restore order, that is the plan. Help us fix this before it's too late. No, my lady, I don't know where the other nobles are. I suggest you ask Ambassador Montillier. Oh, you're her. Thren, Inquisition Quartermaster. I'm doing what I can to supply this mess. If you find what I need to fill one of my requisitions, I'd appreciate you bringing it in. What did you mean when you mentioned requisitions? I'm making this Inquisition run with what we have, but we're not a real army. We're stretched thin on materials, so I've put up a requisition list for anything that could help our people. Here, take a look. If you find some iron and a good logging site, maybe Harriet can get our troops better weapons. If I have materials for a special order, do I bring it to you? Just take it over there. One of my boys will take the materials or jot down what you found. Farewell. Make a go with you. So we're heretics, just like that. Should we surrender or not? So, now that Cassandra's out of earshot, are you holding up all right? I mean, you go from being the most wanted criminal in Thetis to joining the armies of the faithful. Most people would have spread that out over more than one day. None of this shit should have happened. You don't know the half of it. 
For days now, we've been staring at the breach, watching demons and Maker knows what fall out of it. Bad for morale would be an understatement. I still can't believe anyone was in there and lived. I'm still not sure I believe any of this is really happening. If this is all just the Maker winding us up, I hope there's a damn good punchline coming. You might want to consider running at the first opportunity. I've written enough tragedies to recognize where this is going. Heroes are everywhere. I've seen that. But the hole in the sky... That's beyond heroes. We're going to need a miracle. Does it trouble you? I wish I could get rid of it! We have need of it yet. So you've mentioned. What's important is that your mark is now stable, as is the breach. You've given us time, and Solas believes a second attempt might succeed. Provided the Mark has more power. The same level of power used to open the breach in the first place. That is not easy to come by. What harm could there be in powering up something we barely understand? Hold on to that sense of humor. You've met Commander Cullen, leader of the Inquisition's forces. It was only for a moment on the field. I'm pleased you survived. This is Lady Josephine Montelier, our ambassador and chief diplomat. I've heard much. It's a pleasure to meet you at last. And of course, you know Sister Liliana. My position here involves a degree of... She is our spymaster. Yes, tactfully put, Cassandra. That's an impressive bunch of titles. I mentioned that your mark needs more power to close the breach for good. Which means we must approach the rebel mages for help. And I still disagree. The Templars could serve just as well. We need power, Commander. Enough magic poured into that mark. Might destroy us all. Templars could suppress the breach, weaken it, so... Pure speculation. I was a Templar. I know what they're capable of. Unfortunately, neither group will even speak to us yet. The Chantry has denounced the Inquisition, and you specifically. They still think I'm guilty. That is not the entirety of it any longer. Some are calling you the Herald of Andraste, and that frightens the Chantry. The remaining clerics have declared it blasphemy. And we, heretics, for harboring you. Chancellor Roderick's doing, no doubt. It limits our options. Approaching the Majors or Templars for help is currently out of the question. It's about to storm, so unfortunately gotta cut it short. So if I wasn't with the Inquisition... Well, let's be honest, they would have censured us no matter what. And you not being here isn't an option. There is something you can do. A Chantry cleric by the name of Mother Giselle has asked to speak to you. She is not far and knows those involved far better than I. Her assistance could be invaluable.
She's asked for me. You don't think that could be an ambush? I doubt it. From what I know of her, she's a kind soul and not the sort to involve herself in violence. You will find Mother Giselle tending to the wounded in the hinterlands near Redcliffe. Look for other opportunities to expand the Inquisition's influence while you're there. We need agents to extend our reach beyond this valley, and you're better suited than anyone to recruit them. In the meantime, let's think of other options. I won't leave this all to the Herald. We'll post soldiers a safe distance from the temple. Our best guess at safe, anyway. 